Hello, this is Will Suter with AZTV and I'm here with Brian from Alicona. He's going to tell us about the new Infinite Focus. Thanks, Will. Um, yes, so what we're looking at here is the Alicona Infinite Focus SL system. This is a new addition to the product range from Alicona and is based on the principle of focus variation. The product is designed to capture data from a, from a surface and produce a 3D model on which measurements can be made. The operating principle is called focus variation and what this means is that we move the focal plane of an objective over a surface and as we do so we collect 3D data. So this enables us to measure geometric forms as well as flat surfaces. The instrument in itself is very simple to use. Um, we have here the, the, the column and within it there's a sensor with a, a, an objective lens and a ring light system. And the sample is placed on the stage. The stage can be moved in the X and Y and the head can be moved in the Z. And we then, first thing we do is we focus on the top of the sample. And that can be seen on the screen. And you can see there, there is a line across the screen. And if I move the head, the Z, you can see that it's going in and out of focus and that is the focal plane of the objective moving over the surface. So in operation we bring it up to its highest position and we choose that as the upper Z position. We scan down through the object till we get to the position that we wish to finish and we click the second button. So we've now defined the focal range that we're going to collect data over. Once we have defined the vertical resolution, all we do is we press start measurement. And what is happening now is the head is slowly moving over the surface and the ring light is illuminating the surface. And when we're doing this, we're capturing data and we're measuring the sharpness of the data. And the sharpness gives us a very good measure of the repeatability or the, or the uh, robustness of the data that we're producing. When the scan has completed we're presented with a 3D model um, and the 3D model is a data point model and is but is shown as a polygon as a true image. So what you see is the surface of the, of the item in its natural colour and underneath it there is, a, um, there is 3D data. And you can see here the result. And you can also see how quickly that result was obtained. If we just look at that in a slightly different way and we go to a wireframe view and we zoom this model, you can now see very clearly the 3D data. And all measurements are now made on the 3D data. And, but the line can be drawn on the picture to see, to enable you to see exactly where you are drawing your measurement line. So if I now go to profile form measurement, this opens the, um, the image in a different box. And if I draw a line from there, down to there, you can see here, we now have the form. If we want to measure that form, we now have the capability of moving a cursor and if you look at the image you can see there is a cross moving so we can define a position that we wish to measure but we also here have the ability for example to measure the angle by choosing two lines angle and the result is displayed down here in the right hand corner we have the ability to add pseudo color to give us a height map we are also highly scaled here, but if we zoom this, we can see that there is a radius at the top of the um, angle. And we're now able, by selecting circle, to measure that. So we now have a form-fitted circle, and on the right-hand side here, you can see displayed again what that radius is. And this radius can be measured down to a small number of microns, depending on the sample. So we can, using this technology, we can readily measure um, profile, but we can also measure surface finish. So if I choose here profile roughness measurement, and I 
the, the software has automatically drawn a line across the, the uppermost position, which is fine for the purpose of this. And you can see down here that we're measuring RA, RQ, RZ. And we also have all the remaining parameters that are available from this, from this measurement. And we also, from there, can go to a bearing area curve. Other measurement capabilities include surface texture measurement, which is um, the area-based surface measurement rather than line-based surface measurement. We can measure 3D form using um, calculations to measure spheres, cylinders, cones. We can do contour measurement. And one of the real key features of this is that we can actually measure difference. So we can look at an object, um, then the object can be going and used, and then we can bring in that second object and we can then compare them to measure the difference between the two. There is also two-dimensional measurement and volume measurement. This is the uh, capability of the uh, focus variation technology, and they say is used in all our products, and the SL is our latest version, and I hope that's uh, shown you what it can be achieved. That's great, Brian. So where can people find out more information about this? You can find information if you go to our website, www.alacona.com. All the information is there and available. Thanks a lot, Brian. Okay, thank you, Will.